Looking for a fun day out in Edmonton, Alberta? I have an excellent Friends Day idea. Or make it the ultimate date night with some other couples. Whatever your group dynamic, check the winning combination of Activate, The Melting Pot, and Trapped. Stay tuned to learn more. girlfriends are here in Edmonton, Alberta, having a girl's day out. And I want to share some of the cool things you can do in Edmonton when you're here. We're starting off with Activate, which is like a video game come to life. You get to go into all these different rooms and play all these interactive games. So we're going to head and do that first. There are Activate locations all over North America, and Edmonton is lucky enough to have two. We headed to the Activate in South Edmonton, located at 1949 98th Street Northwest. All Activate locations are essentially the same. You become a player inside a giant interactive video game, collecting points as you complete challenges in each room. Wristbands allow you entrance into each room and they save your player info and progress. You can go to any Activate and start up where you left off with your player profile. There are too many games to describe them all. And some of the rooms are really dim, except for the game lights, so not all games filmed well. But I'll share a few of my highlights. In this particular game, we had to work as a team, finding letters to spell a word, and then run to hide from the motion sensors. It definitely required teamwork and communication, and really had us moving. Where's the eye? Oh, we're standing in front of it! <laughs> Okay, so town. I see E. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Stop, 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 stop. There's the E. I got the E. I got the E. Okay, L. E. F. T. Lily. 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 There's an L there. Don't go yet. Don't go yet. Don't go yet. Don't go yet. In this game, you had to shove a ball into a tube, see what color of tube it exited from, and then put the ball into a tube of the same color. However, the walls were divided into four sections, so you had to use teamwork in order to accomplish this task. favorite game was the one where you crawl on a ledge, gripping the wall with rock climbing holds, and have to press on the blue buttons while avoiding touching the red buttons or the floor. It is so fun and it's really great exercise. There are also multiple versions of this game. Some games require you to land or step on certain patches on the floor, or avoid other parts of the floor, just like in the game The Floor is Lava. What are we doing? Game required us to memorize a series of patterns. Oh. 
we got to take turns. Okay. Okay. You do yours. I'll do mine. The excellent part of Activate is that each room has several different versions of the game, so you can do the same room several times, but always be playing something new. round at Activate is 75 minutes for $28, and honestly, that's plenty of time. If you play hard and put in the effort, 75 minutes really gets you working up a sweat. You can go for longer, but I've never needed to. Activate was awesome. We worked up a sweat, worked up an appetite, and now we are at the melting pot to do a little fondue. Our next stop was The Melting Pot, which is an amazing fondue and raclette restaurant in South Edmonton located at 117-2920 Calgary Trail Northwest. I love this place because it serves really unique meats, cheeses, and chocolate blends, and the burners are built right into the tables. There was a whole group of us, so we ordered quite a lot of yummy food. So this is the melting pot. Welcome, <laughs> welcome. We're a casual fine dining four course establishment where you can pick and choose any of the four courses you wanted. So if you wanted the cheese or the chocolate, we'd be happy to help you out with that. But we're zooming brought your appetites and wanted to do all four courses. We want to know five things. So we want to know your cheese, your soup or salad, your entrees, as well as what you're cooking them in. We call it your cooking style there and your choco lot of awesome. But your cheese melted down. Once it comes out, uh, we bring it out along with some artisanal bread, some veggies, and some apples to dip in there. We refill those items, so pro tip, don't fill up on the bread unless you want to. I'm not in charge of you, and bread and cheese is quite delicious. Uh, once you're done with those and the refills, we get those out of here. We bring out a couple cooking styles. Once those are warmed up, we bring out the entrees fresh and unprepared with an array of sauces. And if I'm dropping it off, obviously, that'd be some unnecessary hand-waving. So you cook in certain flavors with the cooking style, then you add other flavors with all the sauces we bring out. Then once you're done with that, we get that out of here. Then we finish it off with a couple pots of chocolate along with cakes, brownies, and fruit to dip in there. And if you didn't fill up on the bread earlier, you can fill up on the cakes, brownies, and fruity goodness, because that's what we do here at the Melting Pot. We just ask that you all come to some sort of agreement on what cheese, chocolate, and cooking style you're getting, or what two cheeses, what two chocolates, and what two cooking styles, because we only have two of these slick induction elements there to safely keep everything warm. On here, uh, I believe Madi is going to finish off your cheese for you. So she'll be out in a second, okay? Thank you. This was just the first course of cheese and salad. Then it was time for the broth, or cooking style as they called it, and the meat course. Mm. Well, the far side of this one. Yeah. Over here we have our premium filet steak. Sorry, closest to you in, in the blue, the young lady. Uh, that's our premium filet steak next to the teriyaki sirloin steak that we already talked about earlier. Then in the middle there we have our Old Bay or Cajun shrimp. Next to that our herb crusted chicken. And lastly the ahi tuna with a little sesame crust on there. One of our cooking styles was a broth, the other an oil. So they cooked very differently, but both were delicious. Then it was time for everyone's favorite, 
the chocolate course. Oh, you could roast the marshmallow if you wanted to right now. I missed the moment. Go for it. Ooh, Ooh la la. <laughs> We ate till we could eat no more, but the girls' day wasn't done yet. We had one more stop, the escape room Trapped, located at 8944 82nd Ave Northwest in Edmonton. As per the escape room's policy, I don't have any video footage of our game, but we did play the 70 minute game Chaos Effect, and I have to brag that we did win. Our girls' day was so much fun, and I hope others can use this video as inspiration to go out and enjoy Edmonton in a similar fashion. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a big ol' thumbs up and share it out online. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments as well. If you're a returning subscriber, it's great to have you back on my channel. I appreciate your support. And if you're new, please consider subscribing and joining my YouTube community. Help my channel grow.